G'day, welcome back. Today is going to be a DIY video for a change. Uh, we're going to be changing the fuel filter, diesel fuel filter, on a Mark II Ford Focus. The 1.8 DCI, and this engine is also shared with the Mondeo, the Transit, and of course the Focus. Uh, so we'll go through what we need to do, how to blade the system, and I'll get into it. So this video covers uh, the, the 1.8 TDCR models that take this particular style of filter. This is the one that sits in the engine bay, uh, it sits up on top of the engine there. I've got the MAN version, these are good quality filters from my experience. Uh, it comes with the filter itself and it comes with two O-rings. It even comes with some instructions which we'll uh, make sure we look at those. So uh, next I'll show you what tools we're going to need. Okay, so here are the tools you're going to need. So of course you've got your filter. You've also got some gloves because diesel's nasty, oily stuff that you'll never get off your hands. Some clean rags, some degreaser or brake cleaner. Some fresh diesel. A priming pump. You can use whatever you want, but this is what I use. Uh, a jar to help with the bleeding. And some basic hand tools. So this quarter inch socket set should, should cover everything you need. And uh, let's walk into it. Okay, step one, take off the engine cover. Just pulls off. Okay, so looking at the engine here, the fuel filter lives in this housing here under this bracket. So first of all, you've got to move the bracket out of the way. Okay, first of all, you've got to remove the, the bracket that's on top of the filter. There's a couple of hoses that clip in little clips. You just pull those out. And there's two 8mm bolts. And hold the bracket in place. Take them off, put them somewhere safe, your bracket's out of the way. Or release the electrical connector from the top of the, the top of the filter. And then and you do the ring. This is where you might need a rag handy because there might be a little bit of diesel here and there. And you lift the cap off. And out of the way. You can lift out the old filter. Let it drain a moment. Okay, once it's drained, move it out of the way. Okay, so the old filter's out of the way. Next, it's probably easiest if you move these fuel lines. So you're pressing the tabs, pull it away. Just that one's probably enough. Then you can turn the top of the filter housing over. You've got this small O-ring that needs to come off. So it's quite a loose fit. Let's take it off with a screwdriver. Your replacement filter will come with one of those. Okay, so on the left here we've got the old filter. That one's about a year old, uh, probably 25,000 kilometers. And here's the new one. So this one's actually reasonably clean. It's I change them every year, which is a bit sooner than you have to. But yeah, it's grimy, but it's not disgusting yet. So we're still doing a good job. There's a new one, pristine. Um, that's what I want my diesel to be going through. So. We'll Put this one in. Okay, so we'll come and pop the uh, new filter in. Just be careful not to splash any diesel around. Load it, load it in generally. And come and put the new sealing washer on the top there. <coughs> oh. 
point then there's a wee trick to make it easier to prime the system you can just top off the uh, the filter bowl with a bit of fresh diesel so we'll organise that now. Okay, so we'll just top up there. Filter with a little bit of fresh diesel. Okay, new filters in, filled with diesel. And we're going to come and put the top of the housing back on. Tighten up the ceiling ring, make sure it's level. And come and pop that hose back in. Reconnect our electrical connector. And we've got to bleed the system. Okay, next step is to prime and bleed the system. Uh, the best way I've found to do, do it on these is disconnect this, this hose here. You'll need a little screwdriver to pull up the tab. And you can uh, and wiggle it off by pressing in the other tab. So that comes off like that. And then you can move that out of the way. And get your priming apparatus. This is a, a one-way doohickey. So to connect your one end onto that. You have run into your drain can. And give it some pumps, see if you can Once you've got a good flow of diesel coming through, you can uh, connect her up, see if she starts.
right, so I made a bit of a, an error when doing this, but uh, I'll tell you all about it, so hopefully you won't make the same mistake as me. So, um, so we had the filter, we had the little O-ring, we had the big O-ring, and the mistake I made was I put the large O-ring back on the top of the filter. Well, that's not where it goes, it goes underneath the filter. Now, uh, where it was on the top, the uh, filter housing wasn't actually sealing properly, so when I was priming it, I started noticing little little bubbles. I thought, that's not good. Uh, so I checked my work, and sure enough, I put the gasket in the wrong place. Easy to do, it's, yeah, it fits both sides, uh, but yeah, save yourself the trouble. Gasket, then filter, and the lid back on. It will seal up nicely, you won't get any air leaks, you'll be able to prime it just as you saw then. Uh, these 1.8 TDCIs are one of the harder ones to prime. Uh, they don't have a fuel return, it seems to be a one-way system. There's no electric pump in the tank, no lift pump. It's all done off the uh, high-pressure diesel pump. So you've got to bleed it, you've got to prime it. It helps if you put it, the thing back together the right way. And then, then you saw it's easy. Uh, so yeah, learn from my mistakes. It's the last time I'm going to make. DIY videos, I don't make them for a reason, and uh, there we go. So cool, thanks for watching, hope this helps. Um, if it didn't, sorry, sorry, sorry I messed up, but um, there you go, that's how it's done.